back to Mob Psycho. Season two, episode three, one danger after another degeneration. Now, last episode, we were kind of introduced in a sort of way to this mechanic, I guess you could say this world with urban legends and how these things can sort of manifest and gain power just by people fearing them. Kind of like Chainsaw Man. Now that I think about it, there's a heavy parallel there. I'm gonna hop right into episode three. Check it out. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's get started. Mob goal search. Oh, yeah. Wait, Reagan making a website is actually like a, a, a plot line? Oh, like too heavy of an ass? Okay. There's nothing my Reagan can't handle. Make your life your own. These title cards are so funky, man. I love them. <laughs> Curse someone. Well, that's like a hitman. It's like a cheap hitman. <laughs> Remain calm, mob. He has a book that just says Reagan on it. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna pretend to curse him. Very good, Reagan. He hit it with his arm? The hell is this? I'm sure something will happen someday. <laughs> just to get him out of his hair. Brother. No way this comes back to bite us, right? No way. Someone he hates that much? Nah, Reagan doesn't seem like the type to hold grudges. Nah, Mob doesn't hate anyone. Right? Mob? <laughs> Brother got scared, yeah. It's not actually cursed. No way, did Mob see like cursed energy off of it? Like they've started this, this rabbit trail for this random guy? True! Something actually uh, concerning. No way did Reagan actually just make cursed energy. Well, I guess it's a sort of manifestation, like I said, that was brought up last episode. It's possible. Don't worry, ma'am. We will handle it. She just taped it all up. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's creepy though. Like at nighttime? <laughs> yeah, it's probably just like a stalker, not a spirit. Mm. I don't know, you seem pretty horny, uh, Dimple. It's very odd. Oh, I think it was an earthquake. Oh. What the hell, man? Oh, that's creepy. Imagine like at nighttime. What? A living person? How is that possible? Dog. <laughs> the rapid pressing. The subtitles are so small. What? Wait, he's using an out of body experience to spy on her? So he is a stalker, but how is he doing that? It's murderous love intent. Yeah, he is just a creep. But it's concerning that he can do that. Like, is he technically an esper? <laughs> oh, for real. Were you expecting a different answer, man? I'm still scared. Behind a supernatural phenomenon. Reagan is like very intrigued by Mob's development. I mean, I am too, but I'm kind of confused. No, for real, we got too much business, man. <laughs> They're hiring him to just tour some haunted place. Like bodyguards for ghosts. Why do I feel like Reagan and Mob are being kidnapped right now? Nah, he's the powerhouse. Reagan did not want him to answer the question about how much he's paid. There are some real labor law issues there. It's like they're babysitting them. Creepy AF. OMG. God dang millennials. This is kind of creepy though. I, I will be honest. Oh, these are kind of responsible kids though. Thinking to hire an esper, like a psychic, just in case anything goes wrong. Is that the Naruto swing? Naruto? <laughs> Wait, is it gonna be the trope where they take the picture, but there's gonna be something else in the picture? Oh, I'm kind of scared though. I hate that. It's creepy, man. 
Oh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> My disciples in middle school. I was like, yeah, they're totally broke. Oh, no. You pay for the time. Dang, Reagan's getting reagan Look, he can't even handle it. They left him. That's shameless. Oh, there's still something here, though. Reagan's really fixated on this soba. What's up there? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Who the hell is that guy? Is this who they hitchhiked with? Oh, I guess that's the end of that. There's no way that was just like a random trip to a shack. Are these guys from another school? Hey, back off, guys. Oh, wait, the body improvement club's about to show up. <laughs> What is happening? He's lost it. <laughs> oh my god, Dimple. He's gonna still try? Back at it, Dimple, go. I'm not gonna say deserve, but definitely deserve. This guy's a scumbag. Oh, now it's Ritsu. <laughs> I like this Ritsu standing up for his brother. Ritsu and Dimple. Oh no, he's had enough. Who's next? Oh shoot! Oh, shoot. I didn't recognize the body improvement club at first because they have clothes on. Man, Mob has so many good people around them. Man, it's so sweet. Just crushing him with their pecs. Sugimoto got just obliterated, man. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't want to have to. Still, kind of still juggling that. I see it's kind of bringing it up for a reason though, most likely. Wait, was I right? Ah. Oh, now you want to pay. What's in that photo? Oh, it's a child. Oh. Photoshop. And back we go. <laughs> I like, I like Dimple. You can get mad. Like, get mad. He needs to respect your time. Bro, chill. We just got here. Oh, are they sad spirits? They're scaring the client. Wait, what if they're just sad though? Like... Like they're trapped here, maybe? Oh my god. Damn. Oh yeah, so why would he exercise them? That sounds fair enough to me. I think it'd be fair to mob too. Don't do it, mob. You do not have to. This is a moment where mob needs to make a decision for himself. I mean, couldn't he just pretend to exercise them? But these aren't evil. It seems he's never come across nice spirits. Take a stand for yourself, mob. I do. Reagan. Okay, at least he's sort of thinking through it. Okay, your clients can leave. It's not like they live around here. Man of the house. What is Dimple? <gasps> Dimple! Dimple! Why? Oh no. Oh no, but now he's gonna force Mob to make a choice. Oh. He's just begging. Yeah. It's all up to Mob. He's the only one that can exercise them. They can convey so many emotions in these spirits just by like one small face. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Aww. I think it scares Mob that he's like taking their side, though. The clients don't have to get hurt. Why does anybody have to get hurt? Just leave. Add a boy, Reagan. Thank you. Mm, thank you. He's shutting it down. Add a boy. Add a boy. 
あいつにとっては同じような距離ぐらいが増えて言う雑な仕事をしたせい Dang, dude, I've never seen him look at mob under a microscope this closely though I think he does sort of understand mob what mob's feeling even though mob said no one can understand this he has a general idea I think it's interesting it's a very I feel like expansive theme that's just beginning too oh there's the family the kid kind of looks like mob too so they're all okay god dang right he took the money i was gonna say what if this like turns into some rabbit hole where they're actually evil oh my gosh i thought he was actually like a really deeply affected what? <laughs> Reagan's curse? <laughs> True. He knew he got scammed. He just sucks it. I'm glad he's thinking into this more because I'm really worried about Mob now. Seems like it's really getting to him. My boy already is anxious enough. I don't think he ever would use them for evil. He's like scared of his own power. Wow. He fears himself in a sort of way. 67. My goodness, man. The, the first two episodes of the season were really nice and uplifting, but I think this one's gonna start getting into some deeper themes with, I guess, just Mob's character in general and the future of the show because he is insanely powerful. That's the whole thing we haven't come across anyone yet i mean i guess the end of season one we kind of met a lot of uh or i guess rather ran into a brick wall with claw and everything but still none of them were strong enough and i still think claw is going to be an overarching thing too especially with show was that the kid's name in claw but i never really thought about how that would make mob feel for him to realize how much power he truly has and to him it's like a very very sensitive scale that if he does one bad thing if he makes one wrong decision then he's just pure evil and car it and is never to be redeemed i think that's why that situation affected him so much is because he realized he was just about to exercise them just because he was told to or because it's what he's always done and that if he had he would have just obliterated this family and, and and life would have gone on for him he's already one to overthink every single decision and now i think it's going to get even worse since he he realizes more and more how powerful he truly is he never wants to be used by anyone and he needs to make decisions with his own emotions guys that's been it for episode three of our mob cycle 100 season two watch through drops the comments down below on what you thought of the episode with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace